So today I'm doing a speed build on the weapons lab, or the ballistics lab is what I ended up calling it. Um, basically it is a holder that extends off the side of the uh, off the side of the station and you can park a ship which is pretty much made out of water um, in the cradle and then I've built or I'm, I'm about to build a little platform which will put turrets or hover ships to shoot the ballistics gel or you know the water as I've done in a couple of previous videos but this will be a lot more easier to test and control so you know we can just shoot the gel examine the result and then delete the entity and uh, spawn in a new one, lower it into place and start again, which means I can rinse and repeat it really quickly and we can test out all kinds of different things like weapon patterns and things, that's what I want to try out, I want to see what the most efficient patterns are for penetration or for DPS and things like that, so I'm pretty sure that um, it'd be interesting anyway, so that's what I'm going to be doing with this. So that's the weapons platform just there. Um, I think I decided to make some sort of like uh, yellow and black arrow design on the wall here. So uh, I'm just doing that. <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, like I say, this is to test because I want to see. I've seen that there is a difference in the penetration and the pattern, the blast pattern, the spread, uh, dependent on the settings. So I want to see what we can do with that and find if there's anything there. Uh, that would make weapons more powerful so um, yeah I think I did actually change this a little bit by the time I've come to finishing it the, uh, the forks that hold the water are a lot shorter and I broke them in the middle so that you can see through it easier um, the um, most annoying thing about it was making the glass because for some reason the glass would lag quite a bit whenever you put a block down um, but other than that, it was pretty simple to do. So, so yeah, just writing the uh, ballistics lab on the side here, so you can see it. I thought it'd be visible in the videos, which would be cool. Um, yeah, ballistics lab. And I've made these letters a little bit narrower. See how that looks. Yeah, that's all right. So right, that's the cradle, and this is where the ship's going to go, and this is the uh, turret area. Obviously we can remove the mast or just hover above it if you've got a big ship. So that works well. I've made a little bit of a platform for people to come along and, um, you know, people in cores to just come and dock on a small docking platform. Um, like I say, I think I've got three of the three of those. Was it a build block? Might have been a build block. But uh, I might put build block there in the end. Oh yeah, the wonders of symmetry. I forgot to turn off the symmetry and so I ended up with a bunch of artifacts above the sign. I forgot about that. There we go. So now I'm going to be building the ship made of water. So I started off by making the outline roughly the same shape as the inside of the cradle. And then I put symmetry on and started filling it in which is what I'm doing here. And I think I'm going to cut a lot of this out because it looks so weird and you know you speed it up and it looks horrible. So I'm going to cut most of this and we're going to skip to putting the thrusters on it, I think. There we go. So um, we just put a very basic power reactor on there so that it could actually move itself and then built on enough thrust so that it could move. Um, just literally just enough thrust so it could move. It's a great big slab of water. So. Stuck a camera on the front, um, and I think I did clad it all in blue hull eventually. Okay, so yeah, this th it needed a lot of thrust, as you can see. the The mass is like four hundred. Is that right? I can't quite read it because I'm looking at a macro image when I'm uh, doing the commentary on this. Yeah, I decided to put another reactor in because uh, <laughs> there's not enough power. It needs more power. <laughs> and in the end, that meant I had to put more hull on. And... Yup. So, like I say, this is why I cut most of this out because you can't really see most of it. So it's a bit like, you know, what am I looking at? So, nearly finished though. 
Uh, and obviously, I'm just going to save this into my uh, into my into my uh, catalog as target because that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that putting that last block in actually made it lose thirty thousand power. I'm just going around seeing if there's anything I can do to improve it, but that's pretty much the best it's going to be. So that's good. Now we can put the hull on, make it look a little bit more ship-like. <laughs> See, I wanted it to kind of look like a forklift or a tug, <laughs> you know, but the engines ended up being so massive that it didn't really work out like that. So it's been a long and productive evening, and uh, I've, like I say, I've got a couple of my ships. I've got my sailing ship is in here now. I've got the uh, salvager ship in the middle. I'll come back and show you this in a sec. There's a new ship there. Um, so yeah, I've extended out the uh, docks, made them wider, made the hangar much larger. Um, I've got a MTX Mark 10 parked up here for general use and then I've got my uh, pulse ship an early pulse ship, I've still got to get them all collected, I really want to put all my ships in, a, in one area and then just leave them there so that when I want to use them they're there, I don't have to like go through my blueprints so anyway also I can I can save the whole sector with all my ships in it and that'll be nice So. So yeah, and then here obviously here's the latest machine, the Terraformer, I think is what I ended up calling it. But uh, great suggestions from everybody. I love I loved all, all those suggestions that people wrote in with. But I think Terra, someone said Terraformer because it's a terraform. It you know you can do terraforming with it. Do terraforming. It's terrible English. But anyway, this is the newest ship. Um, it's a little bit sketchy, but um, there's a reason for that. It's not, it is a ship, but it's just a giant slab of ballistics gel for shooting. And then if you take a look over here, we have a mounting point to either allow someone to perch their ship above or to uh, mount a turret to. So yeah, that's the ballistics lab, and I'll be doing testing with this very soon. So it'll be part of the. Whenever I look at look at a ship, that'll be part of it. So yeah. Did that actually close? People say they lag, but you know, pfft. I just like the way they open and close. Mm, I saw a Reddit about um, sort of motors and red, like redstone, but I don't know. I like the uh, early, you know, the learning curve is very shallow at the beginning for this game and um, stuff like redstone, although it would add depth later on, it would add a wall in the beginning. And I like how accessible StarMade is. Pretty much anyone can pick it up and play it. After a few hours you pretty much know, well, you know enough to play well, quickly. So, but yeah, so that was fun and uh, I'm going to continue on because uh, obviously I made this bigger so I can build bigger ships in there but I'm happy with that door design that end um, I've got a few guest guest docking areas here the purple things I haven't built them yet and I'm going to be putting new rooms in and I'm going to have an all new factory so again more messing with plex doors I probably spent so long doing those but there you go <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching yet again, and uh, I will see you next time.